Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Davis Maddock of Sports Grid, who's here to break down in the American Express Desert Classic. What's going on, Davis? You know, uh, we had some great golf on the TV last week, and the field got shaken up this week with John Rahm withdrawing. There were some very nice numbers uh, that you could have gotten had you been betting this event on Monday, but still some numbers here at the top of the board that I like. You know, no one with overwhelming win equity this week, so I think a lot of juicy numbers at the top of the board. Yeah, a lot of fun numbers here. A lot of fun players here as well. There's no John Rahm, but Patrick Cantlay is a player who had a really good 2020. We'll see what he can do here at the start of 2021. He is plus 1,400 right now at the FanDuel Sportsbook. Why is Cantlay one of your favorites here this weekend? Well, Cantlay, just one of my favorites in general, right? <laughs> just a guy who I think is is a total crusher. He is the world number 10 right now. Uh, and you don't even have to go far. You don't have to go back that far to, to look at a win for him. Won the Zozo Championship, uh, strung together a bunch of top 15s over the course of the last year. You know, has already won four PGA Tour events. Kind of a guy that, that really I expect to contend for majors this year. And at 14 to 1, you know, I was assuming with with the ROM withdrawal, we'd see him at 10 to 1, 11 to 1, 12 to 1. So even at even at 14 to 1, I think he is a, a very convincing favorite at this event, considering we have guys like Scotty Scheffler, you know, like 16 to 1 and stuff like that. Cantley, one of the best players in the world, a top 10 player, as you said, a guy that won often here in 2020. He'll be a favorite for the majors. And getting him here at plus 1,400 just seems too large of a number for a player as good as, as he, especially with no John Rahm here in the tournament. You can't ignore Patrick Cantlay at 14 to 1. You mentioned that Cantlay is one of your favorite golfers on the tour right now, but so is your boy Abe Answer, man. He's plus $2,800 plus twenty eight hundred here at the Sportsbook this week for this Amex Desert Classic, and it's 28 to 1. Abraham Answer is just too good to ignore. You've got him in the long shot. He's He's way better now. He's gotten better as a player over the years. And here at 28 to 1, uh, you're locking him in there. Yeah. And, you know, Answer is a guy who got very close a couple times last year, second <laughs> oh, yeah. at the RBC Heritage and then second at this event, the American Express uh, last year as well. So, you know, this is, a, again, a, a resort course. They actually play a rotation of courses. And this is going to be one of those events where, you know, we see guys are going to be firing 65s. You know, this is this is pretty chill, casual West Coast golf. And nothing is really going to fit answer better than that. You know, not a particularly great putter, but a guy who is going to give himself loads and loads of opportunities to make birdies. And, you know, this is kind of just a uh, buying a guy on the way up, like buying a momentum stock. Right. And that's kind of what it is with answer where uh, he has really driven up the official world golf rankings over the last year. And I expect him to add a win to the card this season. Last summer, we did a hurry up. We talked about Abraham answer and he finished second at that RBC heritage. And I was, I remember just texting you, sweating with you. It was so exciting. This year, 28-1 to here this weekend. Not nearly as long of the odds, but because he's been a, a better player. And he's going to get a win this year. It's just a matter of time when uh, answer here, 28-1, to makes a lot of sense, especially on that West Coast golf. One final player to speak about. This is the long shot here of the day. 85 to 1. It's Doc Redman. And Redman's another guy that we have talked about before that you are in on. Why is this long shot the right long shot to take? Yeah, so I something I'm trying to do with my golf betting this year is is bet some guys, you know, like trying to bet less guys who are at, you know, 150 to 1, 200 <laughs> to 1, you know, cut the cut the uh, you know, the the Tom Hoagies and the Richie Warinskis off of my card and and kind of settling more in that 50 to 90 to 1 range. And I think Redmond is going to be a guy that we're going to be talking about a bunch here. He's a really strong T to green player obviously is going to do better at courses that, you know, don't penalize uh, poor driving accuracy as much. He tends to he tends to be, you know, longer off the tee, but not necessarily the most accurate with the driver. So I think the resort course format will set up pretty solid for him. Another guy who has you had two seconds in 2019, two thirds in 2020, you know, basically just uh, a guy who's got close to the top of the leaderboards, but wasn't able to win. And when you start betting golf for a while, you'll realize you can bet these guys who haven't won yet at really good numbers, but once they win once, those good numbers are gone forever. I mean, you still have to pay 40 to 1 on Ricky Fowler, and he hasn't been a good tour golfer in three years. So Redmond is a guy I'm trying to bet before he gets that first win, because I think once he does, you know, his numbers are going to be slashed in half. So, you know, kind of that 80 to 100 to 1 range is a really good range for Redmond going forward.
I loved everything about that take, right? Ricky Fowler hasn't been a good tour golfer in three years. You're stopping betting guys that have no chance of winning. And getting in on Doc Redman before he blows up, that is the most important piece there. Redman at plus 8,500, 85 to 1 for a guy that's going to be talked about a lot this season. We'll talk about him a lot this season. And hopefully we get him on the card when he's going to get a win. And maybe that'll be this week at the American Express Desert Classic. That's going to do it for us here on the FanDuel Hurry Up. Davis, we appreciate the time. Good luck this weekend. Hey, beautiful. Thanks for having me. And, uh, you know, good luck with the bets this weekend, everybody. Absolutely. Good luck placing those wagers at the betting window. Tomorrow, Megan Nunez will join us as we get her picks for the NFL Conference Championships. For Davis Maddock, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.